Welcome back to more Story of Seasons Trio of Towns, everybody. So, like I said, in between episodes, I did actually do all the part-time jobs in between. And now it is time to go to bed. Yes, it is. Let's go to sleep. Okay, so in this episode, we're going to trigger a couple scenes. First of all, one in the morning. Let's make a collaborative dish. And I think I actually convinced myself to maybe get uh, Megan's quest out of the way just over with. So I might actually just give her the money today instead of what I said in the last episode. You know? I don't know. Anyway, here's Kamari. Yeah, sure, I'll go. I will go. Why not? Great, let's get going. Sure, sure thing. And I also want to see if those things actually counted. Like, remember the 500 animal products and the 100 milk maker products? I want to see if they did count. Because I'm not totally sure. I'm really not. Alright, let's see, Kamari, what you got? What you got for me? Not for me, like, you know what I mean. It's not, it's not like she's cooking just for me, like, I'm kind of like the test taster, you know? But let's see, how is this, dude? How is this protagonist? Oh, God, that was a death thing right there. Did you see that? I guess that was bad. That must have implied bad. Bad tasting. Very, very bad. Okay. So, what's next? Okay, we're still talking, we're still talking. With no actual dialogue. And then the magic light bulb goes into Kamari's head. Or goes from Kamari's head, I should say. Okay, how about this one? I mean, I don't know. If you want. If you want to use it, sure. It's good, no kidding? Alright, victory! I guess so. I guess you're right. Thanks, Shiny. With your help, we made a super amazing recipe. I knew coming to you was the right idea. Your advice was all spot on. Of course. Of course it was. I can't wait to tell Dad the good news so we can get it on the menu. I figure we'll have it ready by our next business day. Okay. Alright, I promised I'd give you this, didn't I? What, the actual recipe? Like what the other two towns have already given me? Yep. Dorayaki recipe. Cool. Thank you very much, Kamari. I appreciate that a lot. I really do. And with that, I do another spin. I got the recipe for Dorayaki. They were so sweet and delicious. I can't wait to try them making them at home. Oh, hell yeah. Alright, so... Look at that money from... Oh my god. That was all the eggs, basically, that I shipped. And let me take a look at if this worked. If this worked. Yes! It worked! So that thing is misleading. It says from your livestock. See, that's what's bullshit about it. But then in parentheses, it's like any byproduct is okay. So it just confuses you, you know? Anyway. Um, okay, that did work too. But it is in fact 100 each. So I need to make a winery then. Okay. Money. I need to do that. And then I need to collaborate with... Well, I already did that, but... I need to talk to you. So yeah, what I'm going to do then... So to make a winery, uh, it means that what I actually have to do... Is also this thing is still not ready? Are you shitting me? How long is that taking? Oh my god. Oh my god, man. Okay, let's go in here first because I want to take a look at if anybody's wool grew. Yes, actually, they did. Okay, let me talk to all of you. Talk, 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 and talk. Oh, we're not talk, but you know. Alright, next up is brush. Let's brush these animals. Brush. As you can see, I haven't brushed these other ones in a couple days because uh, the brushing is actually taking a little bit longer. Okay, then this pitchfork, pitchfork, and then milker, followed by a treat. So much stuff, man, for these animals that I need to be doing every single day. Hold. Give you that, all right? And finally, clippers. Also, the cotton should be ready, right? I'm pretty sure it's ready. So let me go ahead and do that. And grab it. Uh, not over there. What the hell am I doing? It's down here. Yep, it's ready. Take them out. Um, is that it? Yes, that's actually it. Okay. So, let me take a look at that. Where's the red cotton cloth? 
Look at that. So what I'm actually gonna do, so I don't, you know, become an idiot and accidentally sell it all, uh, what I'm gonna do is put it in my storage, because I'm not gonna need that until the A rank for Suyakusa. So, yeah, you know, that's fine. Let's go ahead and go in here. And let me also go ahead and merge again. Because I want to take a look at how many wolves I have. I have 23, so I'm getting there eventually, but... Whatever, for now I'm going to put the red cotton cloth in there. Okay. Let me also check up here, because... Uh, hibiscus and sunflowers will grow in the, as you already know, in the uh, summer. I'm going to only put four of each. I'm actually going to put six in reserve. That for four. Okay, should be good. Let's go. So my priority then is to buy coconut trees. If I want to make the winery now, I need to buy coconut trees because uh, you cannot actually buy coconuts anywhere. You have to grow them yourself. You have to do it. They still run away from me. Why? I'm not mean. Here, take some food. Here's some food for you. Take some freaking turnips and eat them. Are you guys stupid? You too. Get over here. Eat some freaking turnips. No, you little... Eat turnips. Eat turnips. There, okay. okay give me all these back. Anyway. For today, uh, let me see, I need to talk to Megan, of course, uh, hopefully I can, oh, man, one thing I didn't do, oh, shoot, I should have done that, oh, here's another fox, by the way, no, I didn't want, oh, actually, yeah, okay, I th sorry, I thought I put eat, my bad, but no, I didn't, alright, fox, take some food, okay, that's one, eat, eat, yes, perfect, that's two, very nice. Okay, grab that. Hopefully by doing all that, I'm getting that FP up to about 300 or so. Let me see what's available. Nope. Uh, no, no. Shipper, shipper, shipper. Woodcutter, that. Moria, Moria, Moria. And then a bunch of woodcutting. And then Ludus. Ludus. Um, okay then. Wow. I guess I'll start with... Uh, let's go ahead and... Yeah, do Shizu first. I'm gonna do Shizu and then Maria, uh, but then, again, my priority is to go and buy the coconut trees, and uh, I'm probably gonna buy two, maybe three, that might actually be better, I don't know, because the sooner I can get them, the better, obviously. The only thing is, though, I don't know what season they actually grow or harvest, you know, the coconuts. Hopefully it's in the summer or fall. Actually, I hope it's fall, because... If it's summer, I'm screwed again. I mean, hopefully they're year-round then instead. That'll be better. That'll be much, much better. Okay, I'm gonna go over to Luda Coco right now. Um, just gonna go ahead and... Uh, hold on, sure, that's fine. He's in Northern Luda Coco, so that's okay. I just wanted to warp over here, you know? So I might as well do a part-time job in the meantime. Yeah, but I feel like I am going to give the 70,000 G to Megan. I feel like that's going to be probably the best idea at the moment. I'm trying to think of what else I need to do. Hmm, I don't really know. I do not know. Eight seventy-five g Then again, one other thing I could do... Well, no, it doesn't really matter. I mean, either way, I'm going to have to make the winery anyway. But one thing I could do is take a look at what products are actually wine, like, wine created and just buy those instead. That might be better. But then again, it is also nice to focus on the winery right now because I'm going to need it for, a, like, an s rank mission later in the game. So, it is nice to get the coconuts now. But I am also thinking of other things, too, so I don't really know what I should be doing for now. Hmm. Well, for now, I'm going to come here and buy the coconut seedlings. So this should be right here, right here. Coconut seedling. I'm going to buy two. That should be good enough. I'll just buy two of them. Okay. But yeah, I want to take a look at... 
Oh my god. Uh, should I just go over to West Town then? You know what, I'll do this one for now, just do a freaking quest for in the meantime. Hmm. Uh, oh, my bad, okay. So we're gonna pick up 12, that's gonna be fine. One, two, three, four. Five. Six. Oh, by the way, for the winery, the other things we want to keep collecting are going to be the uh, rosemaries and the vanilla. Both can be forged here in the Lococo. But yeah, I'm trying to see if, um, I can, like, oh my god, it's, like, who sells products that would actually be... Like, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna warp over there. Might as well. I know I don't need to be doing West Town, but I'd rather just... That's harvest anyway, so it's gonna be really fast, you know? So that's fine. There we go. So, like, I feel that, um, I actually can't buy any, uh, wine products. I don't think I can. And that's gonna suck really badly if I can't. I mean, not really, because, again, I need to wait anyway. It's not like I'm in a rush. Okay, well, that's that. Talk to you two. Uh, let me go ahead and talk to Megan, who's gonna be, actually... Wait, let me also forge this. Might as well. Get some free stuff, you know? Bunch of foraging here. Okay, so I'm gonna go to Megan, give her the 70,000 G, and then. I'm trying to think here. Uh, let's see. Wait, no, no, not that first. What the hell am I doing? I was gonna go to Maria yet again. Oh my god, okay, here's Megan. Thank god you're here. Here you go. I wanna give you the money, which means tomorrow morning we'll get another cutscene. Yeah, sure. I'm down to 88,000 money now. That's, wow. Oh my god. Okay, let's go ahead and go uh, get away from here now. And this time, I will go ahead and warp over to... Oh god, I guess Moria, sure. Even though I hate doing that one, but I gotta do it, you know? You gotta do it. So because... I can't buy, and I'm starting to notice that because I can't actually buy any winery products and I have to make it, and I have to get a hundred, I think it would make the most sense to just simply buy a hundred oranges or a hundred of a fruit that I'm going to have enough of, that I can just buy right away. So, it might just be orange, honestly, it might just be that. Because to make any wine product, it's actually really simple, all you need to do is use one of the fruit that it requires and it's gonna be it. So it can be like kiwi, it can be orange, it can be grapes, although you... Can you buy grapes? I think you can. No, actually you can because well, I don't think you can. Huh. Okay, well that's that. Let me go ahead and get Moria's packages now. Here's a delivery for you, Hinata. That's gonna be one of Lutus's, I'm guessing. All right, so that's taken care of. Here's Moria now. Let me talk to you once again. And there's Sumomo, too. Don't go upstairs, Sumomo. I didn't want to wait and go up there as well. Okay, let's see what these are for. Uh, Komari... Komari, Lizette, Carrie, and Saluka. That's kind of a problem for me. Here's Tatsumi, Yaichi, let me go ahead and forge this stuff too. No, I'm trying to- oh my god, talk to Inari. 
There we go. I didn't mean to talk to you again, and Katsumi talks a lot, as you can see. It's funny, because Katsumi ends up not really talking to you a lot in the beginning. But I guess later on, you know, you know, I guess the biggest reason why is because, obviously, you're a guy. But later on, she opens up and starts talking to you a lot. Okay, I want to see if I can trigger a cutscene. Uh, yes? Yes, that means I got the Fox family up. Sweet. I got it up to 300 FP at least. That's amazing. So yeah, this scene, you must have 10,000 treasure points with Inari. Uh, you must go from South to Yakuza to North to Yakuza on any day of the week. It must be sunny in Yakuza, and it must be 13 to 16, the time. And if you do all that, it triggers a cutscene, as you can see right here. So this cutscene gives FP to Inari, obviously. But it also gets nice town link ring for Suyukusa, which is real nice. Ah, you came. Welcome to our tea party. No problem. Yeah, I have. Oh, okay. I see, I see. Shall we begin? I prepared lots of tea and snacks. Yeah, I mean, I might as well. Might as well eat, right? <laughs> oh my god, there's actually a fox sitting next to me. What the heck? What the hell is this? Sorry to keep you waiting. If the tea isn't boiled fresh, it loses some of the flavor. That's fine. That's okay. Inari, this tea is delicious. Really? It's way too bitter for me. And this whole tea party is way too fancy schmancy for my taste. It's not that fancy, we're just being proper is all. Yeah, well this is too proper, it's weird. I'm sure Shiny would prefer if we cut loose today and just had fun. Did you just... Did you just imply? One sec. Okay, sorry about that, I actually got a phone call. You might have heard the vibration because the phone was really close to the microphone. Uh, but yeah, I think Witchy just implied here that uh, she wants to get fucked up. Like, she really does, you know? That's kind of what she said right there. She wants to go hard with that alcohol, man. But Inari's like, no, 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 we're gonna be, we're gonna be nice and casual here. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Alright, well... You know what's funny, that by this point I might actually have Inari like really close to freaking 20,000 FP already. Which is, that's funny, because I I could have triggered the scene a long time ago if I focused on the foxes since the very beginning, you know, but, oh well. What? No, nah, what? Oh my god, she's pissed. God damn. La la la, I can't hear you, I don't know anything about that. Oh, shut up. <laughs> the heck? Hmm. And now it's your fault that Shiny's laughing at me. I'm not laughing at you. Yes, exactly. Okay. Tell him. Or tell him, really. Tell her. Tell her about me. Thank you again for coming. I ended up having a great time. And the fox, too? Our fox friend says they also had a great time, and would like to play with you again sometime. I hope you will continue to stay good friends with all the foxes from here on out. And myself as well. Actually, I'm not going to give them a treat ever in my life again. <laughs> to be completely honest, I hate to say that, but um, it's just, again, it's being time efficient, you know? Alright, so I got that. Uh, now, what the hell did I need to do here? I totally forgot. Kamari, Lizette, Carrie, and Saluka. Okay, so Kamari's in here. Let me give you this. Alright, that's yours. Um, and then, what I need to do now is... Was that carry in Saluka? Okay, so what else is left in here? Basically, they're all in Lulu Coco now, right? Okay, so that's fine. It's only three more wood cutting. That's not going to take all that long. So I'm going to go to Saluka first, and I guess maybe run all the way to the west? From west Town? Or I could just warp over there. I can take a... You know, one of those... The, the stagecoach thing. 
Or actually, I should say the elephant taxi here in Lukoko. It's, it's literally a freaking elephant, man. That's so crazy. And then when I get home, I need to go ahead and put the cocoa nut things in there, you know, the cocoa nuts. I also need to keep foraging vanilla and rosemary and keep, uh, you know, just keep those, obviously. I need to keep all that stuff. But aside from that, I mean, there's not really much else that I'm going to be doing. Which is why, honestly, I think after this video, I'm going to once again just make a couple days pass of me just doing part-time jobs and stuff, because there's not that much. Tomorrow morning, we're going to get a cutscene. I'm going to show that in this video. I think I should be able to make it in time. But then after that, that's, yeah, that's kind of it. Obviously, if I'm eligible for other people, like if, they, I, if I get into 20,000 FP, I'm going to do my best not to actually transition into that scene to get the scenes off screen because I don't want that to happen, you know? Um, and I could easily avoid that. I just need to be careful about like who is already there for friendship points. I'm just going to wait. And actually, what's funny is I would rather not even on screen trigger any more West Town cutscenes for now because... Cutscenes give a large boost to the Town Link rank, but if I have a lock on it, I'm actually wasting that cutscene for the Town Link rank. And I don't want that to happen until I unlock it, you know? So I would rather not even get any more cutscenes in West Town for now, even if I was showing everything on screen. If let's the ones from Lukoko and um, Suyakusa that if I were to reach somebody else to 20,000 FP, I would have to just be mindful about that and not actually trigger them off screen. Because again, I want to show every scene on screen, obviously. I just said the word screen there so many times, by the way. Alright, so I believe one more. So once I do this... Um, once I do that one, I think I'll just be set for today. Oh yeah, I also need to change the shipping destination to something else, because um, if I keep shipping to Western, it's a waste of time. The only time I need to ship to them would be when I ship the winery products, which is... I'm not any... I'm not anywhere close to that, I'm not. To be honest, I'm just not, okay? Oh yeah, so what I will do is actually buy a uh, hundred more oranges at the moment. Or a hundred of the cheapest fruit you got. That should be open, right? I'm pretty sure. Let me take a quick look about that. Because I want them so I can convert them into, you know, wine. So it's going to be this one. What you got? Oh my god, these things are so much. Well, kiwi's the cheapest, so I'm just gonna buy kiwi instead of orange. Orange is 700. What the hell? This is a lot of money, though. Okay, well, I did that. I just spent another 40,000 money. You see how much money you actually need to spend in this freaking game? That's ridiculous. Also, wait, I mean, I didn't really need to spend that much. Because honestly, by the time I get the coconuts, I'm going to already have some more fruits from the other trees. So I didn't really need to do that, you know, but I guess it's not really a problem. It's really not. Alright, so once I go over there and just make the last two deliveries. I think I already talked to you today. I'm going to be set for the day. Tomorrow morning, I will trigger another cutscene. The biggest thing I'm going to be doing off screen after this video. What the? After this video. It's gonna be, I'm gonna plant the flowers. Basically the, uh, the sunflower and the hibiscus, I'm gonna just plant them and har- and, yeah, I don't know if I'll harvest them because I don't think I'm gonna play that many days. It depends on what actually ends up happening, you know? But, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all that's gonna be happening, so that's why I'm not too concerned about that. It's gonna be, like, again, once again, the other time, the most major thing that actually ended up happening was... The fact that I harvested cotton. In this next series of doing pretty much nothing, the major thing that's going to happen is me planting and possibly harvesting sunflower and hibiscus. That's going to be it. Which you've already seen plenty of harvest, so I don't think missing out on a couple more is going to be like, Oh, freaking, this LP's ruined. No, it's not. Wait, dude, it's Carrie, isn't it? Shit. It's totally Carrie, okay. Carrie, Carrie. Here you are. I will give this to you. Take that. Alright, so I guess I'm all done. I'm just gonna go home, plant the coconut trees in the soft fields. 
and be on my way. Go to bed and trick or cuts in the morning and possibly end the video by that time I should be pretty much at the end in terms of time, you know? So again, just a quick recap. I'll, I'll mention the recap of what I'll be doing in between episodes. The main thing I'm going to be doing... Well, okay, not the main thing. There's uh, plenty of things. The things I'm going to be doing in between episodes is talking to people every day, of course, to boost their friendship points. Uh, doing part-time jobs, of course, which you've seen plenty of them by this point. I'm pretty sure you're sick of them. Especially the woodcutting, which is ridiculous. I'm also going to be... Um, <clears throat> trying to think. Hold on. <coughs> okay. So, yeah, let me go ahead and plant the coconut trees right now. So at least you have that to see, you know, and to look forward to here. But yeah, so in between... Okay, I think I thought of everything now. So let me go ahead and say it again. In between episodes, what I'm going to be doing is planting these seeds. Not these that I'm doing right now, the other ones. I'm going to be planting hibiscus and sunflower seeds. These will be gone by the time it's summer, but again, I can only plant them in summer first, which is why I can't do it right now. I'm going to be talking to people every day. I'm going to be, um, doing part-time DOS for people every day. I'm going to be I'm trying to think of what else, really. Let's clean up the town symbol. Hell yeah. Let's do that. Yeah, so those things. Talking to people every day, doing part-time jobs every day, uh, planting and watering the, uh, Hibiscus and sunflowers, waiting more time for the pearl oysters and just keep replacing more pearl oysters that you've already seen before. They might actually be ready this morning. If they are, I'll just go ahead and take them, you know. Um, and that's kind of honestly it. That's really it. The only other thing that I can think of... Well, even that, I would have talked about that. That's nothing. Just Oh yeah, the only other thing would be to forage rosemaries and vanillas from the Lococo. Just to have 15 of each. And that's it. That's going to be literally it. Everything else is going to be super just normal. I've already done. Again, I'll be watching the heart meter and I'll be saving often in case I accidentally trigger a scene to reset the game because I don't want to trigger any scenes off screen. Basically, everything important I'm not going to be doing off screen. That's, that's the gist of it, of what I'm trying to say here. I'm going to be doing repetitive things the next five or so days. Until something else big actually happens, you know? And I don't know what's gonna happen. Really have no clue, but we'll see. There we go. That thing has now been upgraded, as you can see. That's amazing. That is amazing. Good work, everyone. Our town symbol is shiny and clean once again. We couldn't have done it without all of you coming together to pitch in, so give yourselves a pat on the back. Yay! You probably heard that. It's a pat on the back for me. And there we go. Another spin. I can hardly believe how shiny it is. Oh my god, what a pun. Because my name's Shiny, get it? Harvest Festival, ooh, nice. I mean, you've cleaned that plenty of times, too. Okay, let's take a look at what is here. New items. Sweet. And these are actually not ready. I thought they would be. Basically, they shine. Every seven days, they shine. You just simply forage them. You know, forage, really. Harvest. It's like crops, and you just replace it with a new pearl oyster, and that's going to be it. That's literally it. So it's really simplistic, you know? Um, there's a mint. Well, anyway, that's... Yeah, I am guess... I'm gonna see all of you in... I don't even know when. I'll water these still because you never know if it will grow in time. They might. I can do one more harvest, right? Before. Most likely. Yeah, so... I think I'm gonna end it here. I'm totally gonna end it here. Let me also take a look at the hearts real fast. Oh wait, let me also fill this up. Put food in, yes. Sweet fodder. Do that. Let me take a look at... to see... If anybody's hearts are actually, like, really up there now. I'm trying to look for any changes here. Desi. Desi's at two hearts now. Okay.
The only change has been Destiny, everybody else is still at the same. So the only thing that I could trigger still would be Kalilas, which I still haven't triggered for some freaking reason, because it's very specific. And then Desi's now. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna end it here. Like I said, I will see all of you. I mean, you'll get the next video in six hours, I'm assuming, but um, for me, it's gonna be like a lot of time has passed. So if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I'd appreciate it very much. Thank you, and as always, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and fantastic day.